Good morning. Welcome to this service of morning prayer for Tuesday, June the 30th. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. O depth of wealth, wisdom, and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are God's judgments, how untraceable are God's ways, the source, guide, and goal of all that is, to God be glory forever. The morning psalm is Psalm 100. All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Him serve with mirth, his praise forth tell. All oh, come before him and rejoice. Be joyful in the Lord, all you land. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before God's presence with a song. Know this, the Lord alone is God. We belong to the Lord who made us. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter God's gates with thanksgiving. Go into the holy courts with praise. Give thanks and call upon the name of the Lord. For good is the Lord, whose mercy is everlasting and whose faithfulness endures from age to age. The Gospel reading for this day is from Matthew, the 21st chapter, beginning with the 12th verse. Then Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who were selling and buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. He said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he cured them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the amazing things that he did, and heard the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the Son of David. They became angry and said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read? Out of the mouths of infants and nursing babies, you have pre prepared praise for yourself. He then left them went out of the city to Bethany and spent the night there. In the morning, when he returned to the city, he was hungry, and seeing a fig tree by the side of the road, he went to it and found nothing at all but leaves. Then he said to it, May no fruit ever come to you from you again, and the fig tree withered at once. When the disciples saw it, they were amazed, saying, how did the fig tree wither at once? Jesus answered them, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will be done. Whatever you ask in prayer with faith, you will receive. We say now our prayers for ourselves and for the world. I ask especially prayers of thanksgiving and intercession for Andra Copeland, for today is her last day of service as director of the First Presbyterian Preschool, the job she has held for the last 27 years. Let's pray. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning in the gift of life, which we have received by your grace, and the new life you give us in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for the love of our families, the affection of our friends, strength and abilities to serve your purpose today, this community in which we live, opportunities to give as we have received, God of grace, we 
offer our prayers for the needs of others and commit ourselves to them even as we have been served in Jesus Christ. Especially we pray for those closest to us, family, friends, and neighbors, refugees, and homeless men, women, and children, the outcast and the persecuted, those from whom we are estranged, and the church in Africa. O oh Lord, you welcome little children and said that to them belongs the kingdom of God. We thank you for your servant, Andra, and pray your blessings upon her as she enters this new stage in her life. As you cause the sun to rise, O God, bring the light of Christ to dawn on our souls and dispel all darkness. Give us grace to reflect Christ's glory and let his love show in our deeds, his peace shine in our words and his healing in our touch, that all may give him praise now and forever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace through the power of the Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised.